hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new you're welcome my name is rosina sharon and today we are doing makeup on this very beautiful soul over here and uh before you do that kindly subscribe share your thoughts in the comment section down below i'll be reading all of them and if you like the video give it a big thumbs up with no further ado let us go straight into the video so to start off we're going to start off with her eyebrows to line especially when i'm doing chocolate to dark skin i normally start off with uh, the davis number three eye pencil to line following uh, the exact eyebrow shape and uh, on the upper side i'm just going to use a spoolie to level it first i'm not going to push the eyebrows down just level it and then I use the very same Davis number no. 3 eye pencil to line the upper side as well. When I'm doing a client's makeup, I make sure to raise the eyebrows around the corners when I do this. So before we start filling, I'm just going to use a, a bit of Becca primer to brush through her eyebrows. And then after you're done, make sure you press that product in so it holds onto the eyebrows. Then after wait for the product to dry out completely first before you start filling in and uh, to fill in uh, for starters I'm starting off with the Davis number no. 3 a pencil starting um, from the outer corner going towards the uh, inner corner concentrating it mostly on the areas where I feel like there is space and then after that I'm going to use a darker eyebrow pencil this is number one and I'm going to use that to draw hair like structures depending on how her eyebrows are like you can draw hair like structures going all the way to the outer corner but here I'm just going to concentrate it mostly on the areas where I feel like there is a space that is the technique I use to line chocolate to dark skin and then after that to clean her eyebrows I'm going to use illegal pro concealer in the shade form this is like three shades lighter than her skin tone I'm not going to start off directly from the inner corner leave a bit of space there just use the product from uh, the point where you can see to the outer corner and then drag the concealer down when you're done then after you're done clean the brush and then use a foundation on the inner corner so unless it, it, you can see that crisp line around the middle to the outer corner, but around the inner corner, it is very, it looks very, very natural. So that is the technique I use. On the upper side, we're just going to use a foundation to line the upper side as well. And after that, before we start applying eyeshadow, we're going to set her lids uh, using the very same concealer we used to clean the first time, Illegal Pro Concealer in the shade Fawn. And then um, for eyeshadow today, we're going to use the Afu eyeshadow. Is it Afu or Ifu? Afu eyeshadow. This eyeshadow is so pigmented, let me tell you. It is one of the best eyeshadows I've ever come across. So that is the shade we're going for for our first transition. For our first transition, we're going to place it from the outer corner going towards the inner corner, concentrating it mostly on the upper lid as we go towards the inner corner. From outer corner going towards the inner corner concentrating on the upper lid around the middle part as we go towards the inner corner and around the inner corner we're going to blend it downwards and then after we're done with the first transition we're going to blend at the edge of the first transition and for this i'm just using uh, it has more of a red undertone to it to blend the first transition and then after that, we're going to do a cut crease starting from the inner corner using the P. Lewis eyeshadow base in the shade number two. And when you're drawing a cut crease, start off by drawing the curve first and then later on fill it in. And then for the cut crease, I'm going to start off blending from the outer corner using a shade close to the shade we started off as our first transition. And then uh, on the rest of the cut crease, I'm going to use this bright, very bright nude shade. It's not a shimmer, just so you know, it's not a shimmer. All of these are matte shades. And then uh, after that, uh, I am going to apply glitter on the, on the cut crease line. And make that makes sense on the curve on that curve yeah so I'm starting off with the glue first and then I'm going to apply glitter on top of uh, just press glitter on top of the glue line I just uh, drew before 
And then after we're done with that, we're going to draw a wing eye using the Zaron um, eyeliner gel. So I start off by just drawing one line and then when we are drawing the wing make sure your client is looking straight up and then now you can connect um, the lines when her eyes are closed and then after we're done with the eye makeup we have not done the lashes yet but we're going to clean the face first and then after that just apply the falsies and I wanted some falsies that were going to flatter her eye shape. So something that started off very short and then long around the outer corner. And then after that, uh, we are going to do the eyeliner, the cream eyeliner on her waterline. So we don't do it after foundation. And then uh, for starting off with the face, I'm just going to use uh, the Golden Lip Hydrating Mist first. Allow it to set before we start uh, using the moisturizer for moisturizer I'm using the CeraVe AM moisturizer and I normally do this technique when I'm doing a client with a, a dry skin type like mine I have to make sure the moisture <laughs> I maintain the moisture in her skin I can either use the ordinary hyaluronic acid serum on her bare face first or a hydrating mist on her bare face before I start applying moisturizer and then for moisturizer, just apply it all over her face and allow it to set first before you move on to primer. And then after that, to primer, we're going to use the Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer. And we're going to concentrate that mostly around the areas where she produces oil the most. So that would be the nose, corners of her nose, bridge of her nose, the T-zone area going towards the forehead and uh, sometimes around the lip region and the smile line. And then when it comes to blending in primer, make sure you tap it in so it is absorbed into the skin. Then after you're done, wait for the primer to set first before you move on to foundation. For foundation, you're using the Maybelline Superstay in the shade 360. And when you're applying a foundation, please avoid using dots. You can use a smaller brush just to do... I don't know how to explain what I just did. It's like more of a lines coming down like that and then you blend it in i am using a foundation brush to blend it in and uh, please avoid using too much product little product goes a very long way so avoid using too much product and avoid uh, placing a fresh product around the corners of the nose and uh, the under eye so that is the foundation you're just going uh, to use on her face today and uh, blend 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 take your time to blend okay and whatever you do to the face make sure you uh, blend the neck as well and then on the upper side start off just above the eyebrows going up so you avoid using too much product around the hairline region And then immediately after foundation, we're just going to apply um, cream blush. And for melanated skin, the best blush, especially cream blush, you would go for is something with a red undertone. It goes very well with your with your skin uh, with the skin tone. Sorry, very very well. It just like flatters the skin tone very well. So we're just going to blend that in before we move on to highlighting. To highlighting, I am using the illegal pro conceal in the shade phone i know it is a bright shade but it has a warm undertone that is why i use it on her it has a warm undertone and a warm undertone flatters melanated skin very well so i'm starting off with the under eye and then the product remaining is what i use on the bridge of the nose and just a tiny bit of a product around her the forehead region and when you apply concealer on the forehead region when you're blending it in uh, spread it out side to side okay do not just blend it going up because you might use a lot of product on your forehead your forehead is going to look way too bright so you spread it out side to side when you're blending and then after that to set i'm going to use the zikel blush and contour palette Highlight blush and contour palette here. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to use a compact powder that is uh, 
like two shades lighter than a skin just to set in the areas where I highlighted I using the concealer and when it comes to melanated skin trust me use a finishing powder instead of uh, this bright setting powders it works like magic and then for her cheek area where I, I did the blush I'm just going to apply a bit of bronzer because I wanted to warm up her face not too much of a contour just a uh, a bronzed look on her cheeks and then I'm going to contour the forehead and then connect it down to the other side as well so make sure that you the contour and uh, the bronzer on the cheek connect and then after that I'm just going to do a bit of contour on uh, her nose and make sure I blend that in completely because we don't want to have any harsh lines especially on the nose contour then after that we're going to wing her under eye in a corner because she has very beautiful eyes and I just wanted to bring them out look at that can you see the eye shape it's amazing with that wing on the inner corner as well looks amazing so after that we're just going to use a setting spray to set this whole makeup in and then after that we're using the Juvia's loose highlighter just a tiny bit of it around other tip of the nose yeah like that and then blend it in with the f with my finger and then after we're done with that is when I will move on to lipstick I'm just lip lining using the Davis number no. one eyebrow pencil first because uh, the lip I was going for today is something that is going to at least match her eye makeup so after applying the lip liner make sure the lip liner blends in like blending the lip liner completely first before you start applying the lipstick you're going for so for lipstick i wanted to go with the wet and wild in this shade first on top of the lip liner and then i use a bit of a pink a bright pink on the middle part of the lip so it's it creates that ombre and then i use a bit of gloss on top and then we have her to make sure her skin is glowing as well you know <laughs> so at least it matches her face and uh, that is it for me today guys this is the final look and I loved it I this was like perfection for me I loved 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 how it turned out so for products on uh, melanated skin head orange undertone works the best and look at her let me know what you think on the comment section uh, that would be it for me today see you in my next video thank you so, so much for watching bye